A push to give South Carolina families public dollars to send their kids to private schools could be on the governor's desk soon. The House of Representatives is debating a voucher bill right now, and it's already passed in the Senate. Our state house reporter Mary Green has the details on the $90 million bill. This bill fell short of becoming law last year over a disagreement on testing requirements. Now the clock is ticking for lawmakers to get it to the governor's desk before the legislative session ends here in three weeks. The bill would give up to 15,000 students a year $6,000 in state money in an education scholarship account to pay for private school tuition and other allowable costs. At full implementation, a family of four making up to around $120,000 a year would be eligible. Students receiving this money would be required to take a state or national standardized test to measure how well the program is working. The bill would prohibit schools receiving this money from discriminating based on race, color or national origin. But the Republican majority voted down pushes to ban discrimination based on sex and disability. Democrats amendments to require these schools provide food and transportation to voucher students also fell short. There are four reasons I'm against this bill and more generally the idea of public money going to private and religious schools in a K through 12 setting. One, it's unconstitutional. Two, it's ineffective. Three, practically it will do nothing. And four, it takes the precious seconds we have on this floor from doing something meaningful in the public K through 12 arena. They're trying to kill choice in education. There is a party that actively opposes parents and children having choice in their education. House members are still debating this bill after starting earlier this afternoon. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. If House members pass the same version of this bill the Senate did without making any changes, it'll head to the governor's desk.